short video, I'm gonna tell you how I passed the NCLEX and how you can too. So, you just graduated nursing school, you're prepping for the NCLEX, or maybe you're still in nursing school, and you're getting ready to get your mind in that direction of if it's your last semester in nursing school or your last year, you should be doing NCLEX style questions on your own. Um, aside from your program curriculum but don't go too crazy and don't stress yourself out because that's why i feel like it was like really stressful to be like i have to do all these NCLEX questions and study for my exams and do this and, and do that just just take it easy just do like 30 questions a week just maybe even like 20 questions a day 10 questions a day practice on your own while you're in nursing school without stressing yourself out and trying to do like 100 NCLEX questions a day or something because that's unrealistic so I studied for the NCLEX. I mostly used an app called NCLEX RN Mastery. I know a lot of people like to use UWorld, but I used NCLEX RN Mastery and I just did questions on that app whenever I had time. Like I would wake up every morning and I would do maybe like 20 to 30 questions a day. Then I would increase it to maybe like uh, 50 questions a day, then 100 questions a day. If I was at the grocery store, which I never go to the grocery store, so I don't know what I'm saying. But if I had like an appointment, I remember I had a doctor's appointment, I was waiting in the waiting room, I pulled out the app, I just I just did questions. It was really easy because it was with me wherever I went. Whenever I had downtime, instead of wasting my time, I could just practice NCLEX questions. Um, and the app was really helpful, so I highly suggest you look to, into an app. NCLEX RN Mastery wasn't that expensive, it was like $30 a month, and I used it for two months, so it was like $60, and I passed my NCLEX, so. It was helpful and I'm not sponsored to say any of this I'm just telling you that's what I used and that's what helped me and then I also got this book from Amazon my friend recommended it to me because she also had the same one it's called NCLEX RN questions and answers made incredibly easy I'm sure you could find a lot of things like this in like Barnes and Nobles or Amazon or popular bookstores there's so many NCLEX RN like made easy books and basically this helped me a lot because it was a review of basically every system, OB, PEDS, med surge, things that you could think of, even like uh, administrative stuff, like management and leadership, ethics and legal issues, like care of a child, care of a psychiatric patients, and then they would divide it up into different sections. So I like this because the questions were actually easy. And having a mix of this and the app, because on the app, the questions were really hard. Having a mix of easy and hard and cut style questions really helped me to consolidate the information in my mind. It really helped me to like have that perfect balance of like hard questions and easy questions because the NCLEX is a right bio. It's a, like a mix. I can't say that word right now, so I'm not going to say it. And um, that really helped me. I liked this one because it had rationale. So for every question that you get right or wrong, it gives you a rationale of why it's right or wrong. I didn't finish the whole book before I took my NCLEX. I think that was my goal. I was like, I'm gonna finish this entire book and be prepared, but there's a lot of chapters in here. There's a lot of content and I just wasn't realistic with the amount of time that I had until my NCLEX date. But what I did is I intentionally focused on co the comprehensive test in here. That's really good. Look at the comprehensive things because although I focused a lot on OB and PEDS in different areas that were like my weaker points and things that I needed to rehearse a lot because they weren't like solidified in my mind. I didn't spend a majority of my time just on OB and Pete's because that's a specialty area and the NCLEX isn't my OB and Pete's final, it's the NCLEX. It's gonna cover a ton of areas. So if I'm spending like 90% of the time studying for OB and Pete's and not addressing the other things, even areas where like I was strong in, I remembered the content, I knew how to answer these questions, I, I like it was no, no problem. I still had to rehearse those areas too. It's a never ending cycle, like you can never go over it enough times. But don't drive yourself crazy, I mean, like I'm just saying, I didn't, I was very conscious of not just spending all of my time on OB and Pete while neglecting like the majority of the content, which is going to be med search. Um, so definitely like study and rehearse med search questions and rationales more, I would say, more than other things. But don't neglect your weak areas. like maybe start off doing questions like that like if you're just starting off studying for the NCLEX that's what I did I went to OB and Pete's stuff I resources like this book the app I just did questions on that until I felt okay then I just started looking taking a look at um the bigger picture and doing more generalized med search content and questions I would also say don't kill yourself when you study for the NCLEX start off like I said like with a set point of questions maybe do 20 questions a day your first week and then by week two increase it to 50 questions a day by week three do 100 questions a day and by week four do 120 questions a day and by week five like 
you can take the NCLEX if that's what you're comfor comfortable with. But I studied for the NCLEX in two months and that's basically what I did. As stressful and excessive as that sounds, I feel like I overstudied, but I passed the NCLEX. So it's better to overstudy and to overprepare than not study at all and have to take it again. But if you do have to take it again, don't be discouraged. That's something that's like, people are like, oh my gosh, I failed the NCLEX the first time, I'm a failure. No, no, you're not. There could be other factors in your life that could have stressed you out, that could have threw you off guard that day. Like maybe you just had a really stressful day. Maybe you were like stuck in traffic. Like there could have been other factors into why you didn't pass and not just like, I didn't study. Like if you didn't study and you didn't prepare, then like, I don't know what to tell you, like that's on you. But if you did study and you did prepare and you did well in nursing school or you, you, you know, you passed and like you, you felt confident and then you didn't pass and the, it could have just been your nerves. So just relax, like don't be down, like you can take it again. I know it sucks because you have to pay for it all over again. You have to reschedule and you have to tell your family and your friends, oh, I have to take it again. But you can do it. It's, it's really doable. Lots of people have failed multiple times and have still passed and are nurses today and it was fine. So basically, that that's my two cents. I would say don't freak out because you already know the content. You already passed nursing school and I wish I would have reminded, reminded myself of that. Like I already know the content. I've done well on my Kaplan, Kaplan exams in school. I've done well on my nursing exams in school. This, it's not just like, it's not like you have to relearn the content and you have to crack open your textbook. You have to study the PowerPoints again. No, if you need like a quick refresher, then yeah, crack open your textbook. But I would suggest instead of doing that, just go on YouTube and watch a quick like review video, a quick NCLEX review video or something, or an NCLEX topic review video. Those were really helpful. I did not crack open my Kaplan textbooks when I was studying for the NCLEX. I did not crack open, at least I don't think I did. I think I tried to, and I was like, eh, this is not working. I did not crack open my nursing textbooks again. I went to YouTube and I just watched a quick review video or something if I got stuck in a topic or an area that I just needed help with, like lab values or like, I don't know, like the, what things like acid base balances and all these different things again so i just needed a quick refresher i didn't need something like extensive for me to study the content all over again so please remember that like you just need a quick refresher you already know the content like it's already in your head it's really hard for it not to get like uh what's the word drilled into your brain when you're in nursing school like you know like it just it's it's there, like the question, you're doing NCLEX questions all the time, whether you know it or not, in your tests, in your exams, in your program, it's already drilled into your brain. You just have to practice, you just have to rehearse, you just have to get the hang of taking questions. You have to get the hang of sitting down and doing like a uh, hundred questions without being anxious because during your NCLEX test, like you could get 75 questions or you can get like 120. I, I don't know if they changed it back after COVID to, um, like how many questions they changed it back to but when i took it in the summer because of covid they decreased the number of questions and you could either you could pass them like 60 or like what was the highest amount of questions i forget was it 120 whatever it was i got the highest amount of questions but i remember sitting there and being like when is this gonna shut off i just wanted to do and then like it shut off and i was like i probably failed because i got all the questions like i got the highest amount that you can get and then i didn't fail i passed so don't let that throw you off either no matter how little or how many questions you have, it doesn't determine if you passed or not. So I don't want you to sit there in the middle of the exam and freak out and be like, these questions are so hard, why is it not shutting off? Or these questions are so easy, why did I get the same question again? Or, or when is this gonna be over? Like that's not the time to entertain those thoughts. Just simply take the exam, just read the question, think about it, answer it the best you can and just move on. You can't like panic during the exam. It's taking too long, I'm bored, like I'm hungry and they just gave me the same question again. I must be doing poorly, all this stuff. And that just like throws you off. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna answer the questions. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I studied for this. I know what I'm doing and it's, it's, it's really fine. It's not the end of the world if I don't pass, but I passed. So you can too, don't freak out. Don't st stress out. I know it's stressful. I know it's a stressful exam and I stressed out, but like seriously, if I can go back in time, I will just be like, Jessica, relax. It's not that big of a deal. You can do it. You can answer the questions. You could pass this exam if other people have done it then i can do it too and you can do it too so i hope this was helpful um and also remember that you have to take the time to initially set aside in your schedule uh when you're gonna study because if you don't set aside that time you're never gonna do it so set aside an hour a day maybe half an hour depending on who you are your schedule or your work schedule or whatever your life you're gonna have to um 
find what works for you in your routine and make a plan. Make maybe a four week plan, like I said, or a five week plan, or if you wait three months to take the NCLEX, make a plan every week, how many questions you're gonna do, what you're gonna study, what you're gonna review, and um, follow through with your plan. And if you have to change your plan, it's okay. Make a plan, change it if you need to, study, and you're gonna pass the NCLEX. So I hope this was helpful. If it's not, sorry, I'll, go. I'll do better next time. And always remember, you are capable of great things. Bye. So yeah, that's basically how I pass the NCLEX. If you want to know more tips that I implemented into my routine or into my life as I studied for the NCLEX, I actually wrote a very small, short booklet about it. I feel like sometimes it's stuff that it's very simple, but you guys don't think of it. So like mindset. So a huge thing like as you're taking the exam, like something that I put in the book is don't think about all the, the people that you told that you were taking the NCLEX on this day. Don't think about how hard or how easy the question you just had was or try to discern like the level of difficulty. Like that's gonna give you extra stress and that could actually throw you off to a point where like you know the content, you know how to answer the question, but you're so in your head all the time that you do poorly on the exam and you end up failing. So one of the tips in that book is something that I feel like people don't really talk about when they're like tips to pass the NCLEX is but like don't go there in your mind, like take over those thoughts and just focus on the question and answer it as best as you can. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys passed the NCLEX.